from 1972 and number 28 in the Vinegar Syndrome archive range is Moon of the Wolf, a TV movie starring David Janssen as Sheriff Aaron Whitaker. And as this one opens up, there has been a death. A young woman has been murdered. Now, what can you tell me, Doc? Right now? Only that it's not considered good medical practice to perform autopsies in the middle of swamps. And from then on, we kind of follow our character as he tries to solve the mystery, tying up what she did in her final hours, trying to meet the people who impacted her life, who were dating her, which was her story all about. I really like this ass idea. You kind of seen it before in other TV shows and movies where we slowly discover the victim through the information we were given and through the people that we talk to, the people that loved her, is how we envisage this victim at the start. Now, of course, we all know it's been a werewolf. It's just a case of waiting for everybody to catch up. It's his dialect, Lukaruk. He's saying Lou Garou. Werewolf. He's saying werewolf. And there is certain characters in this who just kind of seem to know a little bit more than they should, who know exactly what's going on, uh, which adds to the fun of this one. And I kind of like these very limited subgenres of werewolf murder mysteries. Uh, it's not often you get them, but when they do happen, they're particularly good. Now, because this is a TV movie, we don't get a lot of blood, guts or gore. No, but what is... <laughs> Go on, don't... Ah! Ah! But it doesn't need it. It relies heavily on the story, on the characters to really bring this thing alive. And I think David Janssen does a wonderful job of just creating a, a sheriff who's doing things by the book, who knows what he's doing, who knows his community and is delving deeper into it. You know, he, he he's not from there. You know, he has a, a kind of a, a way of just talking to everybody. You know, he says hello, he knows them, but he doesn't really know them. Um, and as he discovers more about the victim, he starts to discover more about the people in his town. I guess I'll have some of your antibiotics. Sorry, this. Only one glass. I didn't say anything about needing a glass. Of course, it's all about the mystery of who the werewolf is. And unfortunately, I think that the movie kind of lets itself down a little bit by revealing it way too soon. Um, I was hoping it was going to be a twist, a bearing switch of some sort where we would have a big reveal that it wasn't really the person that I thought it was. But it's quite obvious uh, when it happens who it's going to be. When we get to the final 15, 20 minutes, we really get the wolf makeup, we get the attacks, we don't get much of the blood or the guts or gore, but by that point we don't need it. We're looking for the closure that we know is going to come, and it comes in a really nice way. When I feel out of place, I just, uh, shut up. When I do, I just keep talking. I really liked Moon of the Wolf. You know, at 75 minutes, it's a breeze to watch. It's got some great characters in this one. It's got Jeffrey Lewis, uh, who, who is a character actor that I really love. He appears in it as well. The kind of uh, setting of this island feels very swampish. It feels as if there's lots of trees and lots of nature round about and just a small community at the heart of it. Almost uh, like they're on an island, they can't get off, they're trapped with something hideous and we're just waiting for it to attack. The one of the aspects I really did like about this movie as well was the hubbub around the community as they start to become almost... Um, a little bit vigilante with it. You know, they think it's a pack of wolves, so they're going to go out and hunt wolves when they realise later on it could be something else. Maybe they're going to start and do that as well. You get this idea of this rambunctious uh, community that are easy and quick to arm, looking uh, to unleash their frustrations on something that's violent and pointless. Well, Sheriff, you coming on a wild dog hunt? Ah, uh, you bring me a pal, Tom. I'm disappointed you're not joining us, Sheriff. <laughs> but it adds a wonderful aspect to the movie as well. I really liked Moon of the Wolf. I thought it set up its mystery expertly well. It's delving in around that police procedural um, that was familiar in this time and it leans into it. I loved the expansion of, of the, the victim. I loved the fact that this was not a crazed uh, killing spree 
but one that kind of instigated the um, procedure of trying to track down the killer. How it led to a supernatural moment where it's not just one or two people that see this creature, there are multiple people. Even the wrap up, the finale of how uh, everything closes was really nicely done. It was just set up expertly well and it was a good payoff. I, I would recommend this. This is, it's became one of my favourite VSA titles, which isn't saying much. You know, the tit- they're middle of the ground most of the time, but this is really fun. I'd love to know your thoughts on Moon of the Wolf. Let me know in the comment box below whether you liked it, loved it, hated it, despised it, whatever. I want to know what you thought of this one. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff if you wish. And in the description box below are links to the Patreon, membership program, and manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Man V Film.